Well, President Biden travels to Minnesota today, kicking off two weeks of visits across America. He's expected to focus on the economy and investments in rural parts of the country. The trip comes days after Minnesota Democratic Congressman Dean Phillips announced a primary challenge against the president. CBS News White House reporter Bo Erickson is in Minneapolis and is joining us now with more on the visit. Um, good to see you, Bo. Well, look at that jacket. Tells me everything I need to know about the weather there in Minnesota, but it's no <laughs> surprise. Um, you actually spoke to two groups of Minnesotans, I guess, voters, ahead of the president's trip. Let's first talk about the conflict between Israel and Hamas. The, the tensions regarding the war in Israel and Gaza are certainly boiling over on college campuses. We've done stories on that. Uh, you spoke with young voters at the University of Minnesota about how they feel about how the president is handling this conflict. I want to play some of that sound. Biden is following the uh, principles set about by any other president, which is complete and total support for Israel and this and, you know, funneling more and more money to it. Um, I think that's a terrible idea and continues to be. Um, I think that what we are seeing in Gaza is a horrific human rights abuse. I think he's doing a fine job, but like, I think we should just aid our, our, uh, what is it, our friends, our allies. I think we should aid them and just like be there on their back the whole time. And I think we shouldn't like say anything too much about the war, like just aid and then help our side. All right, so you got two different uh, arguments there. What more can you tell us about what other students are feeling about this? And could the situation sway their ballot in 2024? Overall, Anne-Marie, I thought it was notable that many of the students that I talked to, they said that they were following all the details of this conflict and they are following along online to what the Biden administration is doing and how they are responding if they are supporting Israel, if they're supporting the people of Gaza. Uh, a lot of these younger voters here in Minnesota said that they were hoping that President Biden would do more to help the civilians in Gaza and l send less aid to the Israeli government. And that really tracks with recent CBS News polling where it shows that 70 percent of younger voters advocate for the U.S to do more uh, for aid to be sent into Gaza. But one of the things that I also wanted to mention is that talking about some of the tensions on campus is that some of the students who told me privately that they support Israel and hope the U.S. to do more to support the government Israel, they didn't want to say this publicly on camera because they were concerned about how some of their peers may be perceived this. And when I was asking them if, you know, tensions were prevalent on the University of Minnesota campus as well as some of these other campus events that we've seen, they said not as much to the degree that we've seen some places, but there is some tension here also on the University of Minnesota campus. Mm. Um, so the president's trip comes just five days after Democratic Congressman uh, Dean Phillips of Minnesota announced that he's also running for president. He's, uh, the first, uh, he's the first challenger, the only challenger that President Biden has for the 2024 primary. Um, you traveled to the Twin Cities suburbs and you asked voters about how they feel about Phillips. I want to play some of that. Dean Phillips has done a good job. He's a moderate and I think he's a very bright guy. But I don't think he has the ability to serve as president of the United States. He, he, he was saying he's he running from because Biden was his age is too old, but the age it doesn't make anything uh, if he's doing good job, you know. But he shouldn't be running against with the sitting president with his own body, you know. But I don't think so. He's gonna win the primary. Hmm, that's an interesting uh, sample there. What takeaways did you get uh, talking to this group of voters? So I spoke with these voters actually in Dean Phillips district, just outside of the Twin Cities here in Minneapolis. And a lot of the voters, I had two takeaways from them. Uh, one, a lot of them said that they liked Dean Phillips personally. A lot of them said he was a good guy and they uh, complimented his interpersonal characteristics that he shows when he goes to events here in Minnesota. But the second big takeaway that I have is that not really anyone could describe how Dean Phillips would govern differently than President Biden. Mm. Some people said that it was worth the primary challenge because of the age difference between Dean Phillips, who's in his 50s, to President Biden, who is in his 80s. But they are unsure about how competitive of a challenge this will be because there is not much difference between the politics of Dean Phillips and the politics of Joe Biden. 
Very interesting. Uh, Bo Erickson, thank you very much, Bo.